these are structures which are structurally different such kind of organization is called sexual dimorphism sexual dimorphism is distinct and female is different from the male by having a short and a broad abdomen now here now let us see how male reproductive system of a cockroach looks like this is commonly called a male reproductive system of a cockroach consisted of now you can see here a testis now this is a testis now here you can see uh, the characteristic feature of the cockroach is presence of a mushroom shaped gland what is that mushroom shaped gland which is made up of long tubules and long and slender tubules and short tubules as well as and uh, you can see vasa differentia here this is a tubular structure called a vasa differentia which carry the sperm cells into the male reproductive tract now now let us see remaining uh, structures of the male reproductive system we have seen how uh, a pair of testes are looks like uh, which are elongated tubular structures now apart from this at the uh, testes are basically located at fourth to sixth abdominal segments of the body there are testes which are embedded in a fat bodies embedded in a fat body which means they are covered by the fat and uh, these uh, testes at the posterior end each testes they have already shown in the diagram a duct starts that is called vasa deferens now two vasa differentia runs backwards and inwards backwardly so the testes are generally looks like and they are tubular structures at the posterior end a tubular structure arises this tubular structure is called as a what is it called vasa differentia these two vasa differentia united together they united which means combined together mixed together and um, runs backwards and inwards to open into a wide median duct they both opens into a wide median duct that is called ductus ejaculatorius now let us see the characteristic features of the mushroom shaped gland i told you mushroom shaped gland is made up of two tubules this mushroom shaped gland is present at the imagine this uh, uh, cockroach body so males have anal cerci and you can see the testicular lobules tubular structures these testicular lobules in between this testicular lobules a mushroom shaped gland is present exactly here which is made up of short tubules and also long tubules long and slender tubules okay this mushroom shaped gland whatever present at the 6th and 7th abdominal segments which function as an accessory or additional reproductive organ the gland consisted of two tubules i told you already so the long tubules are called ductus ductus or the long tubules are called utriculi majors long tubules are called utriculi majors short tubules are called basically utriculi bri v words so the short tubules are called utriculi scientifically called utriculi bri v words secretions of the utriculi majors form the inner layer of the so utriculi major and uh, utricular brevivorous they produce some substances what are the substances produced by them utricular majors forms the inner layer of the spermatophore it forms the inner layer of spermatophore 
okay what about the next uh, one uh, while the next one utricular brevivores nourishes the sperm cells it provides some nutrients they provide some nutrients these nutrients are necessary for nourishing the sperm cells now these tubules opens into anterior part of the ejaculatory duct anterior part of the ejaculatory duct now let us see seminal vesicles are present on the ventral surface of the ejaculatory duct seminal vesicles are ventral surfaced structures this these are generally sac like structures which stores the sperm in the form of bundles now you, you can see here seminal vesicles and their importance the seminal vesicles are just like a sac like structures present on the ventral surface of the ejaculatory duct which helps to store the sperm in the form of bundles so the sperms which are stored in the form of bundles generally these bundles are called spermatophores now ejaculatory duct is muscular if you take the ejaculatory duct which is a muscular extended posteriorly it is extending on the posterior side or posteriorly and opens at the gonapophore opens at the gonapophore the gonapophore are otherwise called as male genital pore what is that male genital pore at the ventral phallomere where it is there at the ventral phallomere surrounding the male genital pore there are three chitinous asymmetrical structures are present three chitinous asymmetrical structures called phallic glands are present what are present phallic glands are present these phallic glands are otherwise called gonapophyes or phallomere or phallomere they helps in the process of copulation during reproduction now the term phallo phallomere or phallo refers to penis now ejaculatory duct whatever it is there in the male reproductive system this ejaculatory duct believed to be the ejaculatory duct believed to be secreting the ejaculatory duct believed to be secrete middle layer and conglobate glands what are they conglobate glands they secretes outer layer of spermatophore an outer layer of spermatophore now let us learn what is female reproductive system the female reproductive system of cockroach consisted of a pair of ovaries a pair of oviducts vagina spermatica spermatical papillae collateral glands in the diagram i will show you all these parts and ovaries are paired structures a pair of ovaries lies laterally and the second to sixth abdominal segments they are light yellow in color surrounded by fat bodies each ovary consisted of tubular structures which are eight in number called ovarian tubules or ovarioles ovarian tubules are otherwise called as a ovarioles each ovarial consisted of here the ovarial each ovarial consisted of anterior tapering filament that is called germarium and posterior wider uh, structure that is called vitellarium or present now what do you mean by germarium and its functions the germarium contains various developing ova in the female reproductive system and vitellarium contain the tapering um, the germarium the tapering one and the vitellarium the last one you can see here if you take the vitellarium the posterior wider part vitellarium which contain mature ova the tapering end of ovarial of each ovary the tapering end whatever there at the anterior region which contain 
each ovary and uh, unite to form a single thread like structure okay this thread which attaches to the dorsal body wall of the female cockroach now ovarians at the posterior end unite to form a shorter oviduct unite to form shorter oviduct all oviducts unite to form median vagina all oviducts united to form median vagina which is vagina is presence of vagina is a female uh, opening we can say that female opening. now you can see here uh, the various uh, parts which i told you just now you can see these are ovaries or uh, ovary paired ovaries are present now this is the tapering end the anterior end and the posterior one is this one vitellarium the posterior end of the ovary that is vitellarium and the anterior one is tapering and nothing but the germarium now so here the posterior end which forms a common opening which is nothing but the vagina what is that called vagina you can see here r is nothing but the collateral glands what are they collateral glands collateral glands have separate functions now you can see here this s uh, nothing but uh, genital pouch or chamber genital chamber now and you can see here uh, various other structures that are associated with the female reproductive system now the vertical opening of the vagina is called female genital pore now it opens into a large pouch like structure i have shown you in the diagram which is a pouch like structure this pouch like structure at the eighth segment okay this pouch like structure is present at the eighth segment that contain uh, sternum okay so this sternum which is belongs to the skeletal element of the cockroach the pouch a large pouch which is formed by the uh, sternum is located at the eighth segment a large genital pouch at the eighth sternum right this is spermatheca or receptaculum okay cernis the complete or scientific name another name for the uh, large genital pouch this pouch like structure is nothing but genital pouch you can simply remember genital pouch another name for this is spermatheca or receptaculum cernis what is that receptaculum cernis consisted of a left sac like and right filamentous cecum so this filamentous cecum which is there on the left sac like structure opens outside by a median aperture now spermatica whatever there which contain if you take this spermatica contain spermatophores what are they present spermatophores are present which receives uh, uh, the spermatophores during the copulation from the male uh, reproductive system now a pair of branched collateral glands are present i shown you in the diagram how collateral glands are present let me draw the collateral diagram collateral glands so in the female reproductive system if we take a genital pouch this is a genital pouch here collateral glands are present you can see this collateral glands a pair of collateral glands these collateral glands what they will do the collateral glands which are present behind the ovaries right these glands opens into genital pouch separately they opens into genital pouch and just above the spermatical aperture they opens into the genital pouch just above the spermatical aperture these collateral glands secretes some important substances okay to form a hard case like or a box like structure around the 
Vudhika, which helps to form the Vudhika. You know very well about Vudhika. So, Vudhika is a case-like structure or a box-like structure where fertilized eggs are present, fertilized eggs which undergoes for further developments. Genital or brood pouch which is there at 7th, 8th and 9th abdominal sterna. So, the sternum of 7th segment, if you take the sternum, okay, the sternum of 7th segment is boat shaped. What is it shaped? Boat shaped and forms the floor side, side wall of the genital pouch. So, it forms the floor of the genital pouch. Now, apart from this, here, sterna of 8th and 9th segment, both are tucked into the 7th abdominal segment and constitute the anterior wall of the genital pouch. What it constitute? Anterior wall of the genital pouch. Imagine it is a genital pouch. Okay. So, 7th and 9th segments which both are tucked into the 7th segment and forms the floor of the genital pouch. Floor of the anterior wall of the genital pouch. Now, there are three pairs of plate-like chitinous structures are present. What are present? Chitinous or teeth-like plate-like structures are present around the female genital pore. What pore? Female genital pore or aperture. This female genital aperture generally called as gonapophysis. What it is called? Gonapophysis. It guide, this gonapophysis guide the vutika, already told you what is vutika, into the vutical chamber for the development of fertilized eggs. These are female genital or these are the structures which are belongs to the female genitalia helps in the locomotion. So that is the end of the session for uh, male and female uh, cockroaches and reproductive systems. The remaining part we will see in the next class. Until stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe my video. Thank you. Have a